Good morning, gentlemen. I'm going to talk to you today on films. It's an offbeat subject. I don't need to talk about films, basically. But of course, I like movies. I like plays. And today I'm going to talk about Bollywood. Bollywood is what is known as the obverse of Hollywood. Hollywood, as you know, is the premier filmmaking site in the world. And I'm 120 years old. And the Indian film industry, that is Bollywood, also is pretty old, more than 100 years old. Started by Dada Falke and so many other persons. And now it's matured into the biggest industry in the world, that the film industry in the world, in terms of the volume of films made. To the turnover, it would be second to Hollywood. Now, that's very nice and it's very good that this happened in India. But there has been what I call a lopsided development in the industry. Now, look at the way the industry is composed. It is not a replica of what India is. Now, India has got a population of about 15% minorities, the balance being the non-minorities, the majority community, that is, basically those who believe in the Hindu faith. But in the film industry, I will I find that almost 50 to 60 percent of the participants or the men who contribute to the industry are from the minority community. Okay? That's the basic point which we must bear in mind. How come that a population of 15% at the national level is 50 to 60% in the Bombay film industry. And a time has come when for the last two decades or even more, the topmost stars are those who are from the minority community. We've got three major stars. I won't name them, everybody knows them. And they profess the Islamic faith. But they are Indians, no doubt about it. But I'm just been wondering why this dichotomy has taken place. Because there was a time in the industry when they had just one superstar and that was Dilip Kumar. And he also uh, had taken a Hindu name, you know, to make himself palatable to the Indian public. And the rest of the top heroes were from the majority community. While now this reversed, the three of the topmost are from the minorities and the others are at the periphery. How did this take place? It's the reverse as far as the women are concerned. There was a time when almost the, all the major actresses were from the minority community. That was before independence and even just after independence. I think if you think of all the major actresses at that time, Nargis, Madhubala or Meena Kumari, they had taken Hindu names but they were all Muslims. But now, there are very few Muslims at the level of the topmost stars and most are Hindu. So there has been a reversal of roles. And that point is uh, worth pondering. Maybe it's got something to do with the gender imbalance in Islam. And now the people who are financing these films are not very keen that Muslim women should come in and they don't mind supporting the men. Now, how come the Muslim stars have risen to this level in India? And they become part and parcel of the Indian film world. Uh, it's not a difficult situation, basically. It's all credit to these stars that they play the roles of basically Hindus only. As the majority community is Hindu, they play the roles. But if you go through the film, there's a subtle slant, a subtle slant in favor of Pakistan. Now, you see most of the spy movies, they never show Pakistan as an adversary or an enemy. Never. And they will show that the Pakistan ISI is helping the Indian uh, and all that BS. That's what it is. Now, these stars, how did they come in? And why were they not there earlier? That is because there was an influx of a lot of shady gentlemen into the Middle East from Pakistan and other places. And they had tons of money. 
and obviously that money has got to be used somewhere so they would use it in the films which was the best way to earn money and also to convert money into its proper shape make it palatable so when you're going to give money you're going to ask for your pound of flesh so when these people these fellows used to contribute money they would say okay we want you to star so and so in our movies x y or z and they would prefer that minority community stars i mean uh, there's no proof of it actually if you ask me it's just a conjecture but there are certain information we have seen from the some of the people who have been making these uh, videos other ones like those from the research and analysis wing and others that this is a distinct possibility and been confirmed by the bombay police that a lot of uh, sleaze money flows in from the middle east from the uae or maybe i don't know from which place but it comes from outside india here you realize that once the money comes in obviously these gentlemen say okay place where so now these stars the three of them who are on the top at the moment have had their moments of torture no doubt about it and probably they're resting with their conscience because their conscience does not allow them to condemn their own compatriots and i've yet to see a movie being made in bollywood which shows the terrorist from the minority community maybe one or film i don't know but they don't even show they will show some you beach his name you know like peter or john or something like that and then they will use a word like an indian terrorist or what's an indian terrorist i mean and then they will show that the is is helping them even the two spy movies by salman khan he made the same sort of difference it shows a subtle bias in favor of pakistan even dilip kumar had a bias in favor of pakistan if you recollect i mean i was not there at that time but i'm told that the 1962 war when china attacked india dilip kumar and the bombay film dance they were going around beating drums and holding shows for soldiers and everything but when the war with 65 came all of them became biggy billy you know they became tame cats they weren't to be seen anywhere now i would like uh, some of the top stars to explain why this happened no there's nothing wrong you know i mean if you have 60 70% from a particular community dominating the film industry but if they are dominating by means of sleaze money which is flowing in from outside inside films and some financier saying you take mr x y or z that is a problem as far as it is concerned and we got to look into it most of these stars are anti bjp but there's nothing wrong being anti bjp bjp is not india somebody says bjp is india no it is another political party one can it can be opposed can you oppose it fair enough what you need to be a, is a patriot now there were a lot of hue and cry you know that mr amir khan went and met the wife of the president of turkey erdogan mr erdogan Frankly, this is a very storm in a teacup. It's got no meaning. I mean, it's a minor thing. He was doing a shooting there. He went and met the lady. Good enough. Forget about it. But there are other things which we must go through. And when we go through these things, the subtle hints which I've been saying, which are there, even in Mr. Amir Khan's films, where there has been some sort of a denigration, you know, of certain Hindu ideals. That is the point which is to be seen. Somebody has got to examine all this. and somebody got to examine the flow of money from outside india into bombay film it's not happening in calcutta calcutta films or other films in india but like they are not the level earning level as far well as uh, bombay is concerned but this is what is happening gentlemen there's been a lot of interesting things going on in bombay we know this is one of the upcoming stars was killed the it's alleged that he hanged hanged himself that's also a mystery and another thing which we must break in is the closed world of the bombay films is being dominated by half a dozen families and they do not allow others to come in and that could be one of the reasons for this gentleman who committed suicide the cbi is investigating 
but I think two or three years have elapsed and they have, their result performance is zero. Either you say it's a murder or you say it's not a murder and close the case. But just sitting on the fence, not giving a decision, is itself a very bad reflection on a premier, premier police organization. There's so many things wrong and that needs cleaning up. There were a lot of things wrong in Hollywood also. A lot of sleaze money comes in there. But a lot of cleanup process took place. And there was a time when the negress actresses were not given the due in uh, Hollywood. That's all over. We have Halle Berry and others winning an Oscar coming forward and being accepted. And that is what matters. That means you have to have a representation from all walks of life. You can have 50 to 60 percent of the topmost heroes from being one community. How is it possible? It's not possible. That is because these are the men who are being projected forward. And they're having a ball at the hands of India. They, films have a subtle effect, as I've already told you. They have a subtle effect where they go around doing all sorts of things, you know, uh, and seeing that uh, India is not what exactly it is. At the same time, I don't think there's uh, the anti-national or something. I won't say that, you know. Probably it's a bit of a thinking, a mental breakup. But all the same, the IB and the others have got to investigate this entire sequence of events and actually track the flow of money and crack down on it. I'm not a policeman, but as a layman, I will say Money does come in from abroad. To say it doesn't come in is, uh, I mean, would be a far-fetched statement. Let's see, hopes, gentlemen, that the industry will be informed. It will be more representative of all people in India and now confine itself to a particular group. And I will close now and say, God bless you all. Do subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. Like it. I'll close now and say, Jai Hind. Glory to India. God bless you all.